Who's the most terrible of them all? It's Hollywood Lean. Hello and welcome to Everyone is Terrible. I'm your host, Hollywood Leon. It's my favorite day of the week. You know, today we're talking about pig royalty, which is a new reality show in Discovery Plus. It's kind of like best in show meets toddlers and tiaras. I know what you're thinking. Why would you do a reality show with pigs? All they do is hog the limelight. But joining me today is a cast member from the show Pig Reality. We have Tyler Parrish joining the podcast. Welcome, Tyler. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. Of course. How's the weather in Texas right now? 100 degrees and sunny, so. Well, let's get into it. I'm excited to talk to you about today. Um, You know, like I said, the show is called Pig Royalty. It's fabulous. I'm caught up on all the episodes. Yes, we're down to one left. So how have you felt watching the show as it's aired? What kind of feedback are you getting? And are you excited to see yourself and your friends on TV? You know, the feedback at first was kind of like a little nerve wracking because when the trailer came out, people were just like not happy with it, I guess. But after seven yeah the seven episodes have come out people have been really supportive and are actually really liking the show at first it was just like a shock to see myself on tv and to see our group on tv and now we've just gotten so used to it like we know on tuesdays tuesdays is the day that it's gonna drop so so tuesday is the season finale of pig royalty the war between championships um who's gonna win the buckle I know there's drama, but I feel like it all just comes down to winning the buckle. Who's going to win that buckle? You know, they call themselves animal athletes because they show these pigs, they raise them. What was it like growing up showing pigs and growing up in Texas as a gay male? So it was very different for me. I was still in the closet. Like I hadn't even come out yet. And even when I'm in the pig world, I uh, conduct myself in a different manner, Um, not hiding myself, just I hold myself in a different manner around the people in the industry. There were bullies that people that would pick on me and say, oh, he's gay, he's gay. It hurt me. I was like, there were times where I was like very down on myself. I was very defeated. So it was difficult for me. It always works out for the best of us. Look at you now. You're on TV. <laughs> so that's, that always works out great. I'm sorry to hear that. But I, I really, I, I just needed to hear it from you. I'm like, it couldn't have been that easy growing up in Texas. Now, you guys, there's a, a battle between two families on the show. We get to see them. You know, we open up with probably one of the greatest openings in reality television, like your girl Jody opening up talking about pig shit. She says, "You know what it smells like? It smells like money to me." And I instantly became a fan. I liked it. I got to say though, even though Tyler is on the show, there is one breakout star. It's got to be Nugget, man. He is just <laughs> Nugget is a 7-year-old that looks like a 39-year-old man. He's got the heart of gold. His mom, her name is Teresa. She's toothless and they're mean as fuck to her. I'm just (laughs) like, what is happening? You guys, it's so good. We have the cheetah lady. Her name is Michelle. She's got three championship daughters. The daughters are kind of mean. They're beautiful. They're kind of mean though. They, you know, they're, they're kind of like, we're the champions. We're here to do this. So we got the Bolero girls and then we got the, the Reen family. And now they taken you under their wing and kind of adopted you. What was that like? There wasn't a special way I entered their lives. It was kind of just like one day I was there and then I never left. They are wonderful people. Um, Josh and Jody are the kind of people that will give you the shirt off their back and they will do and do and do for you. So when they accepted me for me and I didn't have to like, you know, worry about anything i didn't have to worry about be, trying to be someone else i was i could be myself around them and they were so accepting and for me it was very comforting to know that okay yes now i have found my people these are the people that you know i don't have to hide from what was it like watching the show back with jody she's kind of being like the bad guy portrayed on tv how does that uh how has that been coming off at the household Are you guys happy with the way everything's airing? We have been extremely excited with, you know, the way that the editors have done it and aired it. And we've been, you know, there's not a lot that we can complain about on our side. Um, 
we kind of feel pretty good about everything. So we're happy. I mean, we actually, this Tuesday, I went to Jody's and uh, we sat there and watched the whole episode together. Well, that's good. You guys uh, get graded on showmanship. And so you guys have great showmanship as far as the show. And <laughs> if you guys are happy with everything, that means you guys are great sportsmen as well, like good sportsmanship. Mm -hmm. Um, I love that. This last episode with Jody and her daughters was super powerful. Um, so uh, what's it like for Kaden to see himself cry on TV a lot? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he is so emotional all the time and it's it's great. He um, seeing it, I don't think he realizes how much he does it when we're at shows. <laughs> so now seeing it, he's like, wow, like, I don't want to cry anymore at a show. Like, this is a lot. <laughs> So it's been great to watch like some of his reactions where sometimes he'll be like sitting on the couch watching it and a scene will come up and he's crying and he just like starts rubbing his head. It's great. It's great. Tell him it happens to the best of us. It's all for growth. And I love it. I never thought that I'd be connecting with, you know, this, these families from Texas, but you guys, I'm very involved. It's really good. These families are raising championship kids so you know what goes with that you know we got the stage moms we got the hover moms the helicopter moms <laughs> we got the moms battling each other what did you think about this this last episode where the bolero girls were like oh my god stop there's a camera right there i'm like you're you're mic'd you're on a show do you guys naturally forget you're on camera sometimes like we're doing something and, or we'll start saying something and we're like oh crap like I have a mic on like oh what am i gonna do like it's already said now um yeah so there are those times where like even i forget that i have a mic or that there's cameras around um very shocking and like revealing in a setting like that i feel like you don't forget that you're there's cameras around or that you're mic'd because you're literally sitting in a spot and there's cameras all around you so does that know. excite you more does it does it make you kind of like want to be more of like a say what's on my mind definitely and i am always like i try to be respectful when it comes to the girls because you know they are women and so it's different when a man comes at a woman but there are those times where i need i feel like i need to say something and i want to say something so i don't get to say it directly to them so i can you know that's my time when i can be like okay where's the camera at i need to go i need to go off because <laughs> i need to say something to them watching the last uh you know seven episodes has your opinion changed on the bolero family or do you still feel like it is what it is um i definitely do not feel like it's gonna bring us closer michelle is michelle and her daughters are the way they are and you know for me i just don't see a resolution there the way they've treated people the things they've said the things they've done i'm just not there yet um, and I don't know that Jody is either. And so we'll keep doing what we're doing and continue to be the better person. And it was really interesting to see the, the dynamic between her and Nugget. You know, when the first episode opens up, I thought it was her son. Any comment on the way that Nugget is being coached? And I know you were talking to the 17 year old redheaded girl. You were like, I think she has potential. You're being a little bit of a poacher, uh, Tyler. <laughs> You're being a little shady poacher. So uh, let's talk about that. Definitely think that um, Nugget could could have better coaching. I think that he would really benefit from coming to our team. And as far as the redhead Jordan, when I did that, I truly had no idea in that moment that she was a senior. And so when I did it, I did it with the intent of, fully poaching her, like would have poached her in a heartbeat. And I mean, I still might try and poach <laughs> Nugget, but you know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> you know, you guys are um, involved with animals and what we're seeing on TV. What do you say to people that are gonna watch the show and they're gonna have an opinion about you guys working with animals, especially in the wokeness of it all and the time we're in, you know, what do you say to the people that are gonna say, I don't like how they're hitting the pigs. All I see is someone smacking a pig for 30 minutes. Like, what do you say to those kind of people? I'd, I'm not one to beat around the bush. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. And you're going to have your opinion. Um, if you don't like what I'm doing or what we're doing, don't watch the show. If you don't like, if you think we're mistreating the animals, then you know what? That's your opinion. We're not. Um, and so with that, walk away. You don't have to be here. You don't have to watch. 
Um, you don't have to be in the barn with us. You don't have to come to the shows. You don't have to watch our show on TV. Do you love your pigs? Oh, I love my pigs. They're like my children. I love to hear that. You guys name them. All my sows have names. I have one right now that's name is Belle. And I can come into the barn and start calling Belle. And she knows her name. She comes right up to the mm. fence and she starts like shaking her head. Um, so she she's one that does know her name. My mom has actually had pigs in the house that she has potty trained. And they most of the time pigs will not go to the bathroom where they eat. So they they're very clean. Like they'll oh, go good. to the bathroom in the same spot every time. So we put a litter box down and my mom's house trained them and she swears that they are better than dogs. What are, what are your general thoughts on watching the dynamics between um, Jody and Michelle? You know, I know why Jody's upset and honestly watching the show, I don't understand where Michelle is coming from. I don't get her perspective on things because, you know, at the beginning, when we truly first started this journey, there was nothing wrong. I mean, Michelle came to my house. Michelle bought pigs for me. And it was, it's been very like confusing for me to sit back and watch the show and try to understand where Michelle's coming from on the aspect of why is she mad at Jody? What did Jody do? The only thing that I can think of is Michelle's pissed off over the fact that we asked for our money back at the, at her show. And you know, that was, Michelle knows what she did wrong. Have you guys ever done anything like that before? Have you ever asked for your money back at a show? Never. We have never done that. Do you feel like maybe the cameras have just intensified all the drama and maybe all the subliminal rivalry that has always happened has now just shot through the roof? Um, to an extent, I do think that has happened, um, you know, but I don't want to blame it all on the cameras because, you know, that's just the type of person Michelle and her daughters are and... You know who I have a crush on? <laughs> <laughs> I like Michelle's husband. <laughs> oh, Roy. Well, Tyler, my show is called Everyone is Terrible. So we have a couple nominations for Most Terrible. We're going to vote on it at the end. You know, so far, I have nominations for the sisters, specifically Mackenzie um, or Michaela. Uh, the names are really confusing. It's like Michaela, Mackenzie, McCall. Mac <laughs> McCall. That's crazy. That's kind of funny. Um, well, I don't, I, specifically Mackenzie, the way she kind of, the one with the dark hair, obviously mm -hmm. beautiful. Obviously the camera loves her and the blonde one too, like uh, uh, Michaela, right? The blonde one is Michaela. Yeah. Gorgeous. Uh, but they obviously are kind of like, you know, the battle leaders for Michelle. So um, are you for, like, what's your status relationship wise with any of them? They're just not my cup of tea. All right. That's fine. Um, I, I did get a nomination for Mackenzie because I did let my, let my followers know that I was watching the show and someone was like, well, she's so mean to Teresa. She's so <laughs> mean to Teresa. And I'm like, well, you know, we're going to have to put her on the nominations list for that. I did get a nomination for Jody. Um, <laughs> hey, you know, everyone ends up on the list. It's fair game, Tyler. So, um, what uh, what kind of feedback have you gotten about your side of the tracks? You know, Jody and your group and uh, the rain pigs. Like, what have what kind of feedback have you guys gotten? Honestly, we have had such good feedback. I I mean, there was a few like bad comments right off the bat, like when the trailer dropped. But after the show actually aired and this, you know, these seven episodes are out, people have been, you know, tone. D d um, their tone has changed as yeah. new episodes have come out. And so it's been really good. Actually, people are really supporting us and, you know, we just ordered some new stuff in some new merch and sold out within two days. So it's been a great thing. That's so cool. I love to see it. Can you give us any teasers about the season finale? Like what's to come? Like what, what, what should we expect? Should we expect a fight, a big makeup? Are the pigs going to fly at the end? Episode eight, the season finale, I, I really don't know what's going to be on there yet. I haven't got a whole lot of earful as to what it's going to be because there's a lot of things that happen. Just stay tuned. Be prepared for what's to come. It's going to be an exciting and eventful episode. I love it. Tell Jody that I need her on the podcast, too. I need to get her side of the story yes. as well. Yes. 
Um, Discovery Plus is fantastic. There's a free trial. Um, I don't have anything bad to say about Discovery Plus. The only thing I have to say about Discovery Plus is who is Josh Gates friends with? Because I need to be friends with whoever Josh Gates is friends with. He's got so many shows on Discovery Plus. Can I be the Josh Gates of Discovery Plus? I'll come in and do all the after shows, all right? Discovery Plus, I need to come in. I need to mediate this reunion between uh, Jody's family and Michelle's family and see who wins, you know? Why should you never rob a bank with a pig? <laughs> I don't know why. Well, because they always squeal. <laughs> okay that was good <laughs> i've been called a pig before because i'm a little squealer myself <laughs> oh tyler i wish you were here we could get a cocktail have you ever been to california i have not but i would oh. love to come oh my god well i'm sure now this reality show is going to open so many doors for you guys and any comment on the drama between um, the lesbian women and jody i felt like that was a little manufactured like do we so, really need this? Do we really need Jody to walk y'all's hands through everything? Like, I feel like Jody was setting you guys up for success. And I don't know. What do you, what's your comment on that? I think that somewhere along the way, there was a miscommunication and it just escalated to what we saw on the show. And, you know, I had my piece about it. I said what I had to say about it to Jody when I saw it. And what did you say? Um, so I was pretty mad when I initially saw it, when that episode came out and I saw it because I didn't know, like I hadn't, they didn't tell me they had this meeting with Mandy or that she had this meeting with Mandy and I was very upset. So, I, you know, I just told Jody, I feel like you were disrespected and it, that's not okay. And I look at Jody as a mother and I just would not, I just, I told her I didn't appreciate the way that she was spoken to and I had my feelings about it. So are you guys thinking about some sort of reunion? Cause if you are, I would like to be the mediator. <laughs> we are, we have been talking about a tell all. So we're hoping, hoping that we get that. Well, we'll put it in the pig universe. I love that. We will um, put it out there. Pigs galore, drama, uh, good family values, diversity, visibility. I mean, we have it all on Pig Roll to you guys. Check it out. All right, Tyler, it's come down to it. We got to pick someone. Who is your vote? Who? Yeah, who are you voting for most terrible of the week? Um, I'm going to have to go with Mackenzie. I think I'm just going to, I don't know. I'm such a baby when it comes to like, hard coaching and stuff like i i obviously never grew up doing sports i'm a tv person i've been on tv since i was little i'm a hollywood baby um this is just like what i do so to me like physical labor physical sports was never my thing and when i had to do it in school i was tormented for not doing it good so i just don't take well to like that kind of hard coaching so my vote is for michelle the cheetah lady for just like the way, not the way she's coming off on the show. I love the drama. I want her and Jody to go at it all day, in my opinion. Like, go for it. My um, vote for Michelle is just because of the way she kind of coaches Nugget. I'm mm -hmm. like, you need to give that little boy a little bit more love. He is the only, and he really sticks up for them. He, he never says anything bad about them. Even in his confessionals, he stole my heart when he said, I want to be a famous pig shower. So I think he's great. <laughs> so... Team Nugget, my vote is for Michelle. Who would be the most terrible, period? Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Big surprise. Big surprise. <laughs> Are you going to eventually start your own pig team yourself? Like, you're a showman. You've showed for years. You grew up in this industry. You're with a championship family. Are you going to eventually break off onto your own and start your own thing? Is that the goal? We've talked about it. It may be in the work potentially um for season two we're not sure yet um we're talking about it it's been in the talk so Yay. do you have a boyfriend i do not um i'm holding out for the one of the tv producers to sweep me off my feet <laughs> <laughs> oh tyler is going straight for hollywood baby he wants a hollywood man I, I see you tyler i see you i see you i see you hashtagging the next Kim Kardashian on your Instagram. 
I am absolutely in love with this. I cannot wait. I want to do more. Um, I am so excited for the journey. I want so much more. I'm being yeah. greedy now because now I'm like, I just want more. I want to be on more TV. <laughs> well, Tyler, thank you so much for giving us your time. Uh, totally cutie. If you want to see what Tyler looks like, obviously you're going to have to jump on the Patreon. You guys, uh, the Patreon obviously is going to have the full uncut episode, visual episode. You can see what Tyler looks like. You can see our Kiki, but if not, uh, thank you for listening to us on Apple and Spotify. You guys, I have so many Everyone is Terrible t-shirts. Please leave me a five-star review. Send me the proof. I will send you a goodie. Tyler, I'll send you an Everyone is Terrible t-shirt. Would you, would you sport it on the gram for me? I will definitely sport it on the gram for you. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, Tyler, where can we find you and what would you like to promote today? Um, you can find me on TikTok. Go watch my TikToks. Um, I think it's Ty Parish 52 or something crazy like that. Um, but definitely go watch me on TikTok. I put some crazy stuff about the show up and some crazy things about myself up there. So go watch. Oh my God. I need to follow you on TikTok because so far I'm just following you on the gram. Um, so it is going to be nice to see uh, the TikTok. I feel like TikTok, you just reveal different stuff than you do on the gram. So we voted Michelle and McKenzie the most terrible. So uh, Michelle and McKenzie, if you want to come on and, you know, dispute this, you're more than welcome to. We're, we're welcoming the entire pig royalty <laughs> cast. I want to thank Tyler Parrish for joining me today. Um, you guys, like I said, you can find me on all the things at Hollywood Leon. Follow the podcast Instagram at Everyone is Terrible Pod. Leave me a five-star review. You guys will send you something. It's just that simple. I love you guys, and I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for coming on, and stay terrible. Bye. Who's the most terrible of them all? It's Hollywood Leon. <laughs>